You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Defensive backs coach Chris Collins is entering his second year with the football program. That's right. His unit has had some turnover from last season, so he sat down with UK Sports Network's Jeremy Jarman to talk about year two on UK staff and year one as a father. Coach, you're, uh, you're coming into your second season. What are some of the highlights for you from your first season? Yeah, it's a blessing to be in our second year. You know, probably the biggest highlight for me was becoming a dad, you know, in that first season, first yeah. year uh, here at Kentucky. But behind that, man, um, shooting 10 games, you know, Citrus Bowl championship and, you know, having a chance to really grow and develop under Coach Stoops has been amazing. So I'm right. looking forward to year two, looking forward to it. What was that scouting report like heading into uh, to fatherhood for you? Did, yeah, yeah. Did, 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 did you get in the field room? Did you, did you read some books? Hey. How, how did you attack that? It was um, something that you can't truly prepare for. But once it gets here, man, it's special, you know. Um, so I did do a couple of books and, you know, a couple of seminars and all that good stuff. <laughs> Sat down with my wife, went to, a, you know, went to all the different classes. Thought and all you that had it stuff. figured out. Thought I had it figured out. When that joker got here, man, it was a whole different ball game. But tremendous blessing, man. It's been it's been amazing. He's at that age now where he, he kind of knows I'm coming and going and all that good stuff. So, you know, come home and daddy, you know, run into your arms, man. It's a, it's a, it's a great feeling, man. It's, it's very rewarding. Very similar, I think, probably for you you uh, as a coach as well oh. and you got guys coming in as freshmen mm -hmm. and uh, you know one of the things that my coach used to used to always say is is once you think you got this thing figured out you're gonna be humbled real mm -hmm. quick so mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about what that transition is like uh, you know for the, for the young guys transitioning in and what some of the things that you worked on in the spring and they're working on here in the summer yeah man you hit the nail on the head man it's just a very direct correlate correlation in terms of you know being a father and being a coach you know um, you got to teach some tough life lessons you got to love them up um, and different forms of love sometimes yeah. it's, it's tough love sometimes it's patting them on the back sometimes it's just giving them word of encouragement and uh, and constantly learning readapting as a coach to figure out you know what's the best way to help those guys help our guys be successful um, and so for the young guys when they're first getting here man it's about just understanding the process you know understanding you know our blueprint right for how we develop our players here right and so um, that's a big learning curve in itself you know understanding all the different things all the resources that you have available and being able how to use those resources to help you be the best version of yourself all right and then it goes into understanding the game past just uh, a fundamental level right tackling catching all those things like the details that really help you become an elite player right so we started a base level foundation right and just try to break those things down and compartmentalize them as much as possible put them in buckets for the guys so that then they can now apply those buckets to a lot of different avenues mm -hmm. and in turn help them play really really fast on Saturdays and so right. in the spring you know we're getting that foundation you know uh, even for the older guys it's a refresher you got me right and then we want to build that first floor that second second floor, that third floor. Hopefully by the time they leave, they got, they got a skyscraper. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, and they've reached their maximum potential by the time they leave. So uh, that's the goal. But again, every spring it's kind of reevaluating that process. Like I said, continue education, you know, uh, um, figuring out how you can teach it better, you know, and um, figuring out ways to keep them engaged on uh, relearning that foundation and building off of it every year. How do you replace guys that, that brought so much value and experience and playmaking ability to the organization, such as uh, Yusuf Corker and Devontae Robinson? Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't truly just, just plug it in and replace them. Yeah, I mean, everybody's different. Every year is different. Every team is different, right? And so uh, figuring those roles out is really important, right, for, for us as coaches and, and, and for our players, you know. Uh, but, but, you know, I hate to give a guy that label of your next Yusuf. You got yes. me, right? You're the next D Rob. Right. Because right. I mean, everybody's a little bit different in kind of how they lead, kind of how they learn, kind of how they make those plays on Saturday. Our job is to identify their strengths, right? And then put those uh, in the best position to go out there and succeed, right? Based off of their strengths, right? And then try to correct those weaknesses, okay? So they're not necessarily weaknesses anymore, but they may be um um meet the other role in mm -hmm. those categories and every year continue to evaluate that and continue to push that forward and hopefully they can become themselves right in that role what's it been like working with with brad white after the first season how's that been man it's been amazing it really has man in, in terms of not even the football aspect as a person first class 
one of the best I've ever been around. Um, you know, true family guy. Uh, wants you to grow as a person. You got me. Um, as a, he talks to me all the time about fatherhood and you know just little snippets of advice mm-hmm. and all that good stuff. And uh, and then as a ball coach, man, I mean, it truly, truly amazing in terms of some of the things he's able to put together and put our guys in. And again, we talked about seeing their strengths and capitalizing on their strengths, right? And then helping those guys uh, um, develop those weaknesses so they're not as much as a, a weakness anymore. And so right. that's something that uh, that I've really learned from him and, and look forward to continuing learning and continuing growing. But, uh, but no, it's been really good.